In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a digital stove thermometer that I use in conjunction with the standard stove pipe thermometer, and I'll discuss the benefits. Basically, it consists of a thermocouple that is inserted into the stove pipe just up behind where that stove pipe thermometer is, and it has a range of about 32 degrees to 1100 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 to 600 degrees Celsius. The thermocouple is attached to this Adafruit analog thermocouple amplifier and that's right there and that is attached to an A-Star 32U4 microcontroller from Pololu which you can use an uh, Arduino IDE to program and the temperature is displayed on this LED display. Okay, so I just lit this up. You see, so you can see the thermocouple is already showing 231 while the stove temp is obviously not that hot, but what it, the thermocouple do, is doing is it's measuring the air temperature versus the temperature of kind of the thermometer in the stove pipe and probably the ambient air temperature. So, see it's starting to go inside. You can see over here. It's already getting up. I can monitor how quickly it's going up or if it's starting to go down. So you can see in here, just starting to get the kindling going, so I'll need to add some wood soon. Again, the stove temp is now showing about 105. Okay, so I just added some more wood. Stove thermometer here shows about 200. I can see down here that we've got some larger pieces of wood that I just added. This is showing 305, 308, 310. So that should start inching up soon. Okay, so this is now showing almost 500. And meanwhile, the stovepipe thermometer is still just showing about 225, maybe 230. Fire's starting to go pretty good now, but you can see how there's just a, a big lag between the temperature of the air going through the stove pipe versus what the stove thermometer says. And of course that's pretty obvious. So this is showing 600 plus. just getting the 300 and the digital readout is showing 630 right now and typically typically I like to have it running around 400 450 on the colder days 350 is probably fine when it's not that cold out um, but I want to get it up to at least 400 and to keep it around 400 I want the temperature over here to be somewhere between 700 and 800. And so I'm assuming that that may be different for different people depending on where their stove thermometer is actually located. Okay, so you'll see that it kind of fluctuates up and down. It'll go up to 630, then down to 620. And I think that just kind of depends on what the wind is doing outside. Okay, well, I want that to get up to about 700, 750. And that will get me to a nice steady 400 over here. I just added another piece of wood. 
So it drops the temperature down to like 550, went down to like 520 at one point. Because I'm opening up the stove, adding the wood, so obviously with the room temperature air going in, it's going to affect the temperature of the air going through the stove pipe. But you can see it's starting to steadily climb back up. Again, I'm targeting about 700, 750. And if I'm trying to warm it up fast, I can even get this up to about a thousand degrees before the uh, temperature gauge on the stove pipe is showing, you know, 450, 500 degrees. So it's just a much more immediate uh, indicator of the air temp going through the stove pipe. So you can see it's starting to climb up. Hopefully soon it'll be about 700. Okay, so it's over 700. Okay, let's go check this thing here. So again, this is going to lag a bit, so it's still just showing about 345, 350. And so, as long as I keep it within 700, 800 on the digital readout, this is going to get my uh, temperature gauge here exactly where I want it, which is about 400, 425. So as it starts to get about 800, that's when I'll start to close down the vents on the template. Okay, so it's just starting to get past 800. Okay, let's take a look at the stove pipe thermometer. That's uh, showing 410 at the moment, 415. I'll probably jump up to 450 at some point. So now what I'll do is I'll just start closing down the vents. Okay. So obviously the range that I'm going for over here is different than what's on the stove pipe thermometer. So, um, you just kind of got to calibrate the desired range here with what uh, you actually see on your stovepipe thermometer. And that'll just help you to kind of keep your fire going exactly where you want it.